Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna download, install, and launch our first game engine that we'll be using in this series. There's a lot of good game engines out there, and we're not gonna try to convince you to use one game engine over another one. Once you learn the key skills of creating games, you can use any game engine to create and make your games. But to get those key skills, you have to start somewhere. From all the game engines that we used and we looked through, for beginners, we decided to go with Buildbox. And the reason for that is because of its simple visual programming capabilities. Buildbox is known for its no-code mobile game development, and that's what they're trying to target. So it might not be what you will end up using to make your PC games, but it's a good game engine to begin your journey and start learning those skills that you need to become a game developer. To get your free version of Buildbox, click on the link in description and you'll be greeting with the sign up page. If you have already installed Buildbox, you can skip to the next video where we will start creating our new game. Buildbox has a free version and a paid version. And then in this series, we're gonna use the free version so you don't have to spend any money. So go ahead and fill out that information and click get Buildbox free. And once you click that button, you get your license key for Buildbox and Buildbox starts downloading. If your download didn't start, you can click these buttons to download for Mac or download PC. And once that download is done, you can click on the downloaded file and we can go through the installation. You can select the folder where you want to install Buildbox and let's click next, 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 and let's click install. Once Buildbox is installed, you can click finish and leave the launch Buildbox option. When Buildbox launches for the first time, you're a prompt with the activation code and that's the code that you got when you finished the sign up. So you can copy that code and paste it in and click I agree with the license agreement and click activate. We get Buildbox has been successfully activated message, click OK and then Buildbox launches. One more thing that you'll need for Windows users is to install OpenAL. OpenAL is an audio library that Buildbox uses and you'll need to install it for the audio and Buildbox to work correctly. You can find the link to the download page in description. Once you get to this page, download the OpenAL Windows installer and then just run the installation. You click OK and installation is complete. You click OK and you're done. That's all the configuration that you needed to get Buildbox working. Also, when you launched the Buildbox for the first time, there'll be modules downloading in the background. And once those modules are done, you will get a notification that a modules download complete and your export functions are ready. Click OK. And that's it. If you successfully installed Buildbox, you're ready for the next video. And in the next video, we will be creating our new game. 